to Illinois, everyone. We're down to 41 miles to Chicago, Illinois. I haven't done this in a long, long time, picking up downtown Chicago. This is going to be interesting. Hey everybody, Johnny Good here. Welcome to Chicago, Illinois. The local time here is 2.11 and we are down to uh, 11 miles to our shipper. We are currently traveling on Interstate 94 and 90. The temperature is 71 degrees. Traffic is kind of eh, so so so. A little slow, but then again, it's Chicago, so can be expected. It does get a lot worse than this, a lot far far worse than this, but especially at this time of the day. like the skyline is a little bit uh, cloudy up there. So it turns out that this address is going to require us to take 9490 East to Interstate 55 South. That's now called Lewis Tower, or no, wait, wait, Willis Tower, right? Willis Tower. Should have taken 294 and then took 55 north. And there's just something about downtown Chicago that they just, I don't know, just like it. And then when I get here, when the traffic is really bad, then I hate it. <laughs> uh, does that mean I have a love and hate relationship with Chicago? Yeah, probably, right? Probably so.
wish I had a train and air horn. That would clear the traffic real quick. <laughs> down to two miles to our destination our shipper hey I got a question for you uh, currently our political system is between Democrats Republicans and there's even Democrat that are somewhat conservative or I don't know if you could hear call it conservative or and then there's Republican that is traditional conservative, right? So let's do a little bit of an experiment. How about for the sake of peace, we divide the country in four parts. The upper northwest, the lower west. At 1,000 feet, take exit 287 for Pulaski Road. And then the east coast would be... Uh, the upper northwest would be Republican conservative, and then the Take southwest then keep left at the fork. would be, let's call it libertarian. So let's just say we have four political systems in this country. Everybody that votes one way will go to the, you know. Keep left at the fork. We'll go to the part where uh, the political system is prevalent, right? 
If you're a Democrat, why would you want to Continue live in a... Continue on South Pulaski Road for half a mile. Why would you want to live in a Republican state? Or vice versa. So, for the sake of peace, let's divide the country in four parts. <laughs> no, logic dictates that that's never going to work. Because somebody out there is going to shout bloody murder. Say, no, you can't do that. So my question to you is, which of the four political uh, aisle would be the one shouting the loudest? No, no, we want, we want it all. Well, what would be your guess? Which of the four will never be surprised, will never be satisfied until the whole country is conquered to one political view? I've got somebody in mind, but... In a quarter mile, turn right onto West 42nd Place, West and Lurie Place. I've got somebody in mind, but I'm not going to say it, because... Oh, boy. I can already feel the heat. The heat and the heat. In 800 feet, turn right onto West 42nd Place, West and Lurie Place. Larry. Oh, Lori. I thought it was Larry. L U R I E Lurie. So what do you think? What do you think about dividing the country into into four uh, or parts or whatever political party that wants to be recognized? It still be a one country. But, you know, if you're certain, if you're leading in certain way, you go live in that state or part of the country. Turn right onto West 42nd Place, West Ann Lurie Place. Let's just think of the positive. Let's just think that we Continue can... Continue on West 42nd Place for half a mile. Oh, I scared a little lady. Let's just think for a second that it can be done. Would you move to that place?
building says preferred freezer. So In maybe 600 feet, turn right. So maybe they're one in the same? Then you will arrive at your destination. Okay, here it goes. There's lineage right here. Is this a truck entrance? You've arrived. check into this place I'll be right back well we are about one hour early so we have been instructed to find a place to park and wait for them to call us for a door assignment Okay, buddy, whatever makes you happy. Look at the hood over there. That looks like the handiwork of uh, Duct Tape Larry. <laughs> Get it? Duct Tape Larry. Ooh, look at that. Look at it. A little too close there, buddy. That's good enough. We'll get to see you later. Peace. All right, everybody. We've been assigned to door 16. Unfortunately, there's still somebody in it. 
but uh, I don't know, right? Of all the doors they could assign me, it had to be 16 where somebody's in it. <laughs> Why not 15? Why not 14? Oh well, that's just the way it is. So we're just kind of waiting till uh, the traffic here is done with. I don't know about you, but in my experience, the most important part about backing is the setup. It really is. The better your setup, the easier it is going to be backing in. just couldn't wait. The guy just couldn't wait. He should have waited. I think that pizza truck is going the wrong way. Peace driver.
love the way they got the line. It's perfectly aligned with the dock door. Oh, I love it. All right, let's go open the doors. Don't forget to chalk the whales. We're gonna go chalk the whales. Just like that. Peace. 